But there has also been some challenges. One of, one of the challenges was there came a point when we just had to let go of the ISMP template. So when we first started out the process, we did the master drainage plan, and uh, part of the terms, part of the deliverables for that consultant was to develop the terms of reference for the ISMP. And we had a subcommittee that was struck for the ISMP that had planners and engineers and community members on and habitat experts. And um, as we were going through that, there was, I guess, some discomfort about what we were going to get at the end of the day and was it going to be valuable for us and particularly for municipalities as, as they're trying to move, move this process forward. One of the things that we found in the master drainage plan was there was um, these major costs that were incorporated as part of the plan. And I think that there was, well, I know that there was huge discomfort at a municipal level to try and take that forward to their councils because we had, you know, costs of 20 to 40 million dollars in the midst of, you know, all the sewage treatment and building new hospitals and all of these other big issues that were happening in the region at the time. Um, so there, there came a time when we just, we had to let it go. And part of the reason for that was that an ISMP, well, it tries to do a more holistic level of planning. It's still, we felt, too engineering centric. It was, it was too focused on the engineering side of things. There was a lot of expensive modeling and there was quite a bit of discussion at the table about if we do this modeling, what's it really going to tell us that we don't already know? And we felt that there was a lot of collective knowledge at the committee level. You know, we had planners and engineers who, who have been working in these areas for you know, 20, 10, 20 years. So, so they know a lot and we have, we have people that have lived here for as long. But the biggest thing was we did not have enough funding to be able to do an ISMP because they are very expensive and, and um, you know, consultant. Uh, heavy in terms in terms of costs. So we looked at all this and we said, okay, well, but we still have, I mean, we've received some level of funding and we still have deliverables that we have to, to meet as part of this funding. So we all kind of took a step back and said, okay, what do we really need? And we decided the best way to go would be to actually bring in an external facilitator that was not an engineer to help us pull all the information that we already had in various documents, pull that together and to help steer the committee through a process of developing the blueprint. And um, I think we were pretty successful at the end of the day. <laughs>